Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Euro USD for Monday. So, if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So, let's get started. This is a four hour chart of Euro USD, and we saw a good recovery, good buying on the chart of Euro dollar after the NFP. And ultimately, market closed at 1.0639. Why did it happen? Because of this. This is the chart of DXY. And we saw a sudden drop, heavy drop on the chart of DXY after the NFP. Though the NFP numbers were good, but we saw a drop on DXY. This was the main reason I requested everyone, especially beginners, not to trade during the news. Because news trading is considered as one of the hardest form of trading. Because within that short period of time, it becomes very difficult for us to predict the market, to understand what market is factored in, what market has not factored in. So news trading is really difficult. It takes years of practice. Okay. But anyways, dollar tumbles after US job report, service sector contraction. The dollar fell on Friday after US jobs. Data showed a strong but not blockbuster employment picture in December, while a separate report showed that U.S. services industry activity contracted for the first time in more than two and a half years that month. Okay. Ultimately, DXY came down to the range again. DXY is back to the range again and ultimately closed at 103.91. So, opening will be very, very important so after the opening. If DXY starts uh, falling again, if the downtrend continues, then we will have to see whether DXY takes support at a 103.50 or not. Because on the chart of DXY, this is the only support right now. If DXY breaks 103.50, there may be a further fall because we do not have any immediate support on the chart of DXY. And if you remember, then yesterday we talked about the support around 103.80 as well. So right now, the range of DXY is 105.80 on the upside and 103.50 on the downside. The opening will be very, very important. And this is the chart of Euro USD. As we all know, the chart of Euro USD is bullish. Euro USD is bullish for the last couple of days and weeks. But my dear friends, you can see that I have drawn a box here. So overall, the chart of Euro USD may be bullish. Okay, but if we just observe the present trend here, do we see a bullish market? No, not at all. We don't see a bullish market. Yes, previously market was bullish, market was forming higher highs, market was forming higher lows. But here we can see a choppy market, a typical sideways market. I have to stay at the chart for, for some time just to know okay where I can take a position on Monday. Okay, and to be honest, just like the chart of gold, the number of options are very limited here. First of all, if the fall on the X continues. If the fall on DXY continues, then we may get some buying opportunity above 1.0655. If market breaks this level here, okay, we can get some buying opportunity. We may get some buying opportunity and we can go for a buy position. And our target will be 1.0700. Sadly, this is not a clear chart. You can see that this is a choppy market. The chart is not very clean. Okay, so I had to I had to move to the weekly time frame. This is the weekly chart of uh, Euro USD. You can see on the weekly time frame we have we have this setup. Okay, we have this setup on the chart of Euro USD. So the things are still very much critical for us. Okay. If you know USD starts falling, then obviously we will have to look for selling opportunities. But on the other hand, if you know USD breaks this level here, then there may be a good buy. Then there may be some good amount of recovery on the chart of Euro dollar. So I'm wondering about this candlestick here, then this is a hanging man pattern. Okay, do this, is a, this looks like a hammer pattern, but hanging man on an ups, uh, uptrend market okay, signifies a trend reversal. Okay. So yes. If Euro USA really wants to go up, if Euro USA really wants to recover, then it will have to cross this particular level here. Okay. Otherwise, there will be a trend reversal again. But for a trend reversal on Euro USA, we need upside, we need recovery on the chart of TXY. 
anyways the first running opportunity is if euro usd breaks this level the, if the market looks good we can go for a buy position but after the market opening if you see that right after the market opening market is trading above 1.0655 level observe the market for some time because right at the opening we do not have much volatility in the market we do not have much volume in the market so let the market stay, uh, let the market gets um settle let the market settle above this level if you see market is trading comfortably you can go for a buy position target will be 1.0700 if possible reduce your lot size okay then observe the market around 1.0709 to 1.0735 around this level because though the market is an uptrend we have a hanging man on the weekly time frame as well as this is a choppy market sideways market right now so if we consider the present trend of the market here then there's a possibility that market will reverse so if market reverses if you see price rejection from above if you see a market struggling around uh, 1.0709 1.0735 level you can take a sell position you can take a sell position your sl or stop loss will be above 1.0735 okay and in between in between these two levels here i will not recommend anything because if i take you the one hour time also or the hourly chart also you can see that we do not have any uh, opportunities on the chart of euro usd okay we can draw fibonacci retracement here we can draw some fibonacci retracement here and we can expect the market to come down to fibonacci retracement but yes the live market will speak right now the market is closed so once the market will open on monday i'll update again but as of now the number of opportunities are limited so we must be very very careful let's wait for the market opening okay and one more thing i would like to mention and that is uh, if market breaks this level here keep in mind that we have a hanging man there okay so, and the slowly the structure of the market is also changing here previously market was forming higher highs and right now we can see that euro usd still has not made any higher high yet so as a result there is still a good possibility that market may go down okay so if euro usd breaks this level here 1.0480 and starts falling there may be a trend reversal as well okay so this is it hopefully you got my point i'll update on monday again let the market open let's let's see how the market performs where dxy goes after the market opening no traders 100 percent accurate this is my analysis i can be wrong as well so please be careful and uh, do not gamble with your hard-earned money follow proper risk management bye bye take care